Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I'm going to do number 14 in my series of the powerful tools of Affinity Photo. And this time we're going to talk about transform objects separately. So let's get started. So I'm going to open a new file. It's File, New, and I'm just going to make it it could be any size. I'm making it a thousand by a thousand at 72 pixels and I'm creating that and there you go. Let's just take a couple of things. I'm just going to grab some squares, rectangles, whatever you want to call them. And if you select two items like this, you'll see on the context toolbar right here, transform objects separately. So what does that mean? And, and why would you use this? And I'm going to show you very quickly how it works. And then I'm going to show you an example of why you would use this. So how it works is when normally when you transform something, it takes one center point. I'll bring that back. Or it doesn't have to be a center point. You can just open up the enable transform origin and go to here, say, for example, and then it'll, cent it'll center both from that point. So that's without the transform object separately. I'm going to bring that back. And now let's change that. Let's go back to transform objects separately. And you, if one thing gets selected, and then you turn it, and instead of it going one center point, each one follows their own center point. And if you change that center point and go transform objects separately, if you move that center point, it'll, they'll both follow the new center point. See how we moved it like that? So why would you use this? And I'm going to give you a quick example. I'm going to create, let's say a bunch of, you know, I'll do actually, I'll do arrows. Let's do a bunch of arrows. So let's do something like that, and I'll give it a color, right? And I'm also going to do on top of that, say a donut. So let's take, just get a donut here like that, and I will give that a different color. Let's leave, let's make it just red. And I'm going to take that donut and center it right there. I think I'll make this arrow just a little bit bigger. And I'm going to hold Option and slide it over. I'm going to do it one more time. Hold Option and slide it over. So now I have three. And then I'm going to take all of those and I'm going to, I'll do Control or Command J and then slide that down. And I'll repeat Control or Command J like that. I'm going to select them all now. Oh, I got to take that off. I'm going to select them all and center it. And just for the heck of it, let's give it a background document, new fill layer. No, I'm sorry, layer, new fill layer. And let's move that fill layer to the bottom. So it's X, go back to the bottom and paste it and we'll go down one more and since it's an ugly color <laughs> we'll change that fill layer to a gradient and we'll do something like that and let's give it some maybe a white so now we're all set up this is this is just a setup and there you go so maybe even a lighter blue just like that Okay, so now how, why would you use that? And I'm going to show you why. I'll group all the donuts first. I'll take, pick the first one. I'll go to the top, hold shift, and group it. I'm more concerned with the arrows here. So let's say I selected everything. And normally, if I want to move, it would go like that, right? Or let's say I just selected all the arrows. And I took the first one and the last one and I would go like that, and that's what would happen. And that's not what I really want. I want to play with this and think of it as a pattern. So all you have to do is, 
it, this toggles on and off. It's called Transform Objects Separately. And when you click it, make sure all the arrows are selected. I'm not selecting the circles right now, just the arrows. One, only one will show up because that's where you can put the center point. But I'm going to leave the center point where it is. Now watch what happens. Now I'm changing my whole design. And I could say, wow, that looks pretty good. Maybe I want it that way. Maybe I just want them to have this kind of a design. Or maybe I want it this way. And I would never, and I can hold shift and do, it'll snap into the different degrees. And that's how easy that was. And I'm going to leave it just at that. It's very simple. And but don't forget one more important thing. Don't forget when you select more than one thing, you have to select two things, but don't forget to take that toggle off because it could confuse you later on, later on down the road. So just click it again, and if it's, a, if it's a gray, it's off. If it's black, it's on. I hope you liked this tutorial and you found it useful. And if you did, take a second and hit that subscribe button because it really helps me out and gives me the incentive to create new tutorials. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.